over here at the Dell booth with Carol Pfluger, taking a look at what they have with GPUs. And it looks like you have a couple of things here. Absolutely, we do. What do we have? Wave? What we have over here that you're looking at right now is our new PowerEdge M610X. What we've basically done, and this is your general purpose blade server. So it's a little bit louder, going, if you could. It's going to be going into our blade chassis, the M1000E. Okay. What you see here is in our new design, we have got a standard M610 yeah. blade. It's got two West Mirror processors on it with that bank of memory. Okay. What we have done in this design is we've actually added two PCIe Gen 2 by 16 slots. Okay. And that's kind of a novel idea for a blade where we're taking it in one single infrastructure. Okay, and that's where the, the uh, Fermi's and that's actually in. what we have a Fermi in here right now. This is the M2050. Okay. But I can get two 225 watt or one 300 watt card into this into this chassis, and it's because we use passive cards. It's taking advantage of the fact that I have got an array of fans in the back of my blade yeah. chassis that will actually cool the cards down. Okay. Um, so, like I said, this happens to be a passive card from Nvidia. Okay. It's the M2050-204. It's a double wide. Okay. So. So if I had a single wide card, I could actually get two cards into this device. Okay. Okay. Um, another thing that we do with this, because it's a general purpose blade, is I'm able to also put in Fusion I.O. cards. I don't know if you're familiar yeah. with Fusion. Yeah. Fusion's PCIe with SSD Some serious on SSD. It. So now and with the capacities on those start at like 512, right? Well, I mean, they're so pretty we, big. We've got 160 gig. Oh, we, okay, that low? we've got the 640 gig available today. Okay. And there'll be future cards coming on. Think I, about... They were talking big capacities big down capacities the road. Big capacities coming down the road. Think about what that means for this environment, where I can do a single wide GP GPU with that computational uh, ability, plus a 640 gig Fusion card. Some serious speed. Serious, serious I/O, you know, yeah. and also being able to take serious. That. I mean, serious compute it's speed. It's wonderful. Blinding. And then on top of that, because it's a general purpose, yeah. we also have Dell standard uh, uh, server or storage controllers. This happens to be our H. Uh, 800, which will allow us to go to our Equalogic EMC okay. power vault storage, okay. and then we also do 6 gig SAS. So, so this is a general purpose blade. A 6 up. gig SAS on this? Yes, I'll have okay. 6 gig SAS also. But I mean, just think of it. It's a blade. Yeah, it's I can a, get yeah. eight of these blades into our M1000E, okay. which is our blade chassis. And when you even think about it even more, is I'm not telling you what order you can put these in. I can, you can put them in. You know, all eight of them is at full height. I can put half heights in here. I can put them in any order. Order. You know, think about this with our big M910, which is our Westmere or uh, yeah. Hale and Xbox. Half a terabyte of memory in a blade sitting next to this guy. You know? big number. So using that shared infrastructure of the blade. Let's so, talk about this thing, this beast here. I know you're not the subject matter expert on it, but we've got a couple of other people hanging around. <laughs> and this kind of caught my attention because, uh, first of all, how many Fermis can you get in this? So this box, and this is actually the turned around. This is actually the front of the okay. box. This is the, the, the new, I think it announced last month. It's the C410X. Okay. Uh, the 410X actually has 10 of these sleds. Okay. Also called tacos. I've heard some refer to it as a taco. Ten tacos. In the front. Say ten tacos. Ten tacos. Okay. <laughs> ten sleds in the front and six of, in, the, in the back. Okay. So inside of this, if you kind of kind of zoom in, you can actually see I've got an M2050 inside this sled. Okay. That will actually slide. Did you guys in. pay for lights here? I don't you love the lighting? We've been yeah, this lighting. It's now for dark days. <laughs> here. It's meant to be like a gadget. Yeah. It's working. It's yeah. It's plenty it's dark. It's cool. You know. Yeah. So, okay, anyway, you've got ten in. tacos. Yeah, it slides in. So this is, like I said, the front. Ten in the front, uh, six in the rear. So and what 16. can be in the tacos? It's Sixteen M M of these the Fermis. Okay. Sixteen of the M2050s. Um, additionally, we have some con con connectivity to go to the host. So if you're using a host interconnect, you know, uh, card, like in uh, the new C6100 family, yeah. which is also from our Cloud Edge side, the C6100, uh, is basically a 2U rack. In the front, it has a bank of hard drives. In the rear, I have these four nodes that will pull out. Okay. So if I have a failure in one node, instead of bringing down the entire rack, I just yank the node out, and I can also then just replace it at that point in time. Now, one of the things we talked about, though, that I've been kind of talking about with some other vendors, with uh -huh. some NVIDIA people, is GPU is a shared resource, uh -huh. and it seems like this might get you part of the way there. I think it absolutely will, especially when with the C6100 family of, 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 of servers today. 
I mean, okay. today that's what it connects to. We have plans of other power edges down the line, but today you connect in with the C6100, um, and that would be your host. And okay. then that shared resource with those 6100s can access then. So the, other servers connecting into this into will this. be able to get to use, you know, two, four, six GPUs, no GPUs. At the moment, I think you're limited to four GPUs. Yeah, I right, so four like, GPUs so or four fewer? G, yeah, four GPUs to one HIC. So the host interface card can then attach. Because there's a PCIe switch inside there, and so you can allocate the GPU to a particular port on the back. So you've got okay. eight ports on the back. Um, which then go into the host interface cards and up to four GPUs can then be allocated to, to, that, particular to that particular port. port. Okay, see that, and that's, I mean, it's baby steps here. This yeah. is kind of the beginning edge of that because yeah. right now, as far as I can tell, everybody else has simply, uh, you know, one server attached to, to one Fermi card. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you want to do something with a different server on that, great, go through networking. Yeah. And this, I think, is a, an innovation. Yes, because also if the Fermi card then goes and fails for whatever reason, you don't have to bring the server down. You can just disconnect it straight out the chassis. Well, yeah, I mean, the failure stuff's in. fine, but it's more along the lines of being able to fully utilize these things yes, and absolutely. let other servers use them. Yes, I mean, that's, that's the, the big win here for enterprise, absolutely. even for HPC. We're yep. gonna, I think we're going to be seeing more virtualization in HPC, more shared resource, that sort of thing. for the, the C410X is also to incorporate that those uh, Fusion I.O. cards. Okay. Just like we do in this, they'll also be able to, to be uh, sure. to have those Fusion cards Makes sense. in the future. So, so very fast storage yes, to go with a very absolutely. fast compute. And because of the firmries that we use, the uh, M2050s, that's another one, they're passive mm -hmm. cards. As you can see through here, I've actually pulled out one of the fans, but they're having the fans in the center of this rack enclosure that will keep everything, keep the airflow going, you know, and that's one of the, the nice things about the passive cards. Can you cook a turkey coming off this when it's fully loaded? I don't believe so. I, no? I, like I said, I'm not the person from okay. that, but I do know that they have got some good power supplies in them, Yeah. you know, that will actually keep it driving, and I think that you know, I would heard some information listening to my peers talk that, you know, um, it really does try. It does keep the. the well, you the, have. The, yeah, you and, have to manage the. And I the understood, eight. and it's something in my peers yeah. get that you can get three of these into three of those in one, into in a standard rack. Dell rack. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's a two U box, and you put one of the the, the uh, three U's in the middle, then another two U box underneath with the C6100s. Okay. okay. So that whole enclosure is then what? It's seven U, yeah. and takes about 15 kilowatts, and you can put three of those into a rack. Great. Well, thank you very yeah, much. I appreciate you. the time. And uh, we'll watch this and see what happens. I with think it. it's got a good, good future. And yeah. talk to them about the lights. Uh, the this lights is annoying. And, and then, but it's like a racetrack. And you've got the race too, car so. over there. <laughs> it's Boy. been three days of heaven. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Thanks again. <laughs> thank you very bye -bye. much. Bye.